all righty ladies and gentlemen boys girls and trailblazers all around welcome back to another honkai star rail playthrough session we've made a significant amount of progress despite the fact that we are still on the herd of space station and there's a couple of other things some housekeeping some cleanup stuff that i want to get through with a couple of world quests on the station before we officially move on with boarding the astral express and moving on to the next location of the game so made a lot of progress over the course of my first playthrough which was last night i streamed the game for about eight hours we had an incredible reception of people watching live on twitch which i am live at now at twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds and uh, we're going to be continuing on to make as much progress as possible we're going to be pulling for the remaining characters for the standard banner pull so i can kind of start rounding off and figuring out what characters i want to focus on for my overall core team we did do some pulls last night before the end of the stream where i ended up getting welt actually who is my second five star off of the standard banner the first one being Gepard, and then my second five star pull on the standard banner was Bailu's best in slot weapon which Natasha is actually equipping and using that light cone at the moment so we got Welt which is great I think right now the only other characters that I'm hoping to get on the gacha is Bronya will be my guaranteed pick character if I don't get her before we get to the 300 pulls and Bailu who uh, I really want for the fact that I'm a big fan of healers but uh we have a few things I want to get caught up with before we transition so the first thing is we got a couple of uh idolins for some characters we got one for the main character after we finish the story or after we finish the prologue i should say a falling star when enemies are defeated due to the trailblazer's ultimate the trailblazer generates 10 extra energy this effect can only be triggered once per attack which is really good so this is for the destruction path as of right now, which I'm assuming we're going to get free idolins for the travel uh, for traveler for the trailblazer throughout the playthrough of the game, similar to how we get free constellations for the traveler in Genshin Impact. So we got that and I got a lot of additional four stars, four star idolins for the roundup characters on the back end here. So we got E2 for Asta. Stars sing sans verses or vocals. When using skill, deals damage for one extra time to a random enemy me okay not bad some extra dps right there oh no that's e1 sorry about that now we have ching chu here who also has an idolin looks like e1 as well ultimate deals 10 percent more damage not bad again more damage for that serval which is the free character we have two idolins here so echo chamber basic attack deals lightning damage equal to 60 percent of the base attacks damage to a random enemy adjacent to the target kind of causes more aoe damage and then we have encore each time serval's talent is triggered to deal additional damage she generates four energy i definitely need to figure out how and when i'm going to showcase different teams because i have a lot of electric units but it doesn't it seems like to me the units that are most prominent that i need for teams is wind and ice at the moment because like serval's electro i think herda's electro speaking of herda we have her idolin kick you when you're down if the enemy's hp percentage is 50 percent or less herda's basic attack deals additional ice damage oh herda's ice never mind actually that could work she's ice ice is pretty prominent i believe we have e2 sushang refine in toil after triggering sword stance the damage taken by sushang is reduced reduced by 20% for one turn. Oh, okay. Nice. I think she's a DPS unit too, which isn't bad. And then we also got an Eidolon for Arlen. Actually, we got two. So to the bitter end, when HP is lower than or equal to 50% of max HP, increase skill damage by 10%, which is good because Arlen uses HP to use his skills instead of skill points. And then we have breaking free. Using skill or ultimate removes one debuff to oneself. Also pretty good. It's a little situational if you get affected by any Nihility enemies, but uh, it's still pretty good to have in a pinch okay so i think i am going to go forth with the rest of my pulls we got zila we got a bunch of constellations or a bunch of idolins i should say for natasha hook and pella i did end up pulling for zila's weapon off stream i got it in 40 pulls yesterday so we got it pretty early overall so the rest of my pulls are going to be generally going for we're going to go a little bit above 300 i think it's 320 or 330 that will guarantee me an additional five 
star and then my guaranteed so including the guaranteed i have three chances to get either one of these five star characters or their five star light cones i just really want bronia or bailu if it comes down to it i am going to be picking bronia if i don't get her by then but i have e1 gepard so i already got two of him we got welt i tried out himiko so far i think she's pretty decent and i haven't seen or tried either one of these characters but i know i want bailu and i definitely want bronia so we're gonna try our luck and we're gonna see how far we can get before we hit all of our pities i think i've been going to hard pity on all of my five stars with the exception of zila's weapon oh oh shit we finally got a con for one of the free characters we got an idolin for don hung oh shit okay we got another planet so i have like three of this weapon we got a character and a weapon on this pull not bad yeah and i also found out that you can refine weapons it's called superimposing, and i think you can take it to like r5 or whatever it's called but uh i think you can refine your weapons up to five times once i figure out all of the three star four star and five star weapon variants i will most likely superimpose most of them oh shared feelings okay i did get one of these yesterday oh let's go another natasha idolin pog the more natasha's i get the better bro like she's my current healer i think that's e2 or e3 for natasha this is uh 30 pulls in i think oh my god another serval serval idolin as well i have to bro they love hook around here dude they love giving me hook weapons i think i actually might have max superimposed hooks weapon at this point <laughs> the birth of the self is this hurt his weapon yo pog what a goaded pull three four stars let me peep this real quick yep erudition that's definitely for her increased damage dealt by the wearer's follow-up attack by 24 percent if the current hp of the target enemy is below or equal to 50 increased damage dealt by follow-up attack by an additional 24 jesus so that's 48 percent potential damage boost right there wow what a great picture it like goes further and further within herself getting a lot of good four stars there's still some characters that i don't have yet i think ting yun is one of them like the fox lady it's all about the luck of the draw to be completely honest Un okay i love how they're now just like okay you're gonna be a herd of main all of a sudden not bad i'm gonna count and see how many pulls this is i think this might be 50 come on big money big money i swear to god if it's another hook if it's another hook weapon i'm flipping this table <laughs> okay another sushong jesus dude my characters are gonna be stacked by the time i actually start the story so this is 50 pulls in so i'm guaranteed a five star in the next 40 fingers crossed that we get this sooner rather than later i feel like i know pom pom so much just from this freaking screen i haven't even met them in the game yet all right natasha weapon even though she's got bailu's weapon if i end up getting bailu i'm gonna swap that weapon off of natasha with the quickness so it's still pretty good to have those weapons for her in case things change oh i got an achievement oh this is a five star pon pon watch out <laughs> fingers crossed that it's somebody new or something new please i beg i'm so nervous man i'm gonna get bronia no matter what but I, it's it's just okay we got pella that's great oh uh, this is so stressful e2 gepard everybody oh we got wealth weapon <laughs> yo let's go that's a dub i got welt last night i got welt's weapon today in the name of the world. Oh, shit! Welt's a mainstay at this point. I have to have Welt in my party. Increase the wearer's damage to debuff enemies by 24%. When the wearer uses their skill, the effect hit rate of the attack increases by 18, and the attack increases by 24. Holy moly. All right, Welt, welcome to the squad, my dude. You are officially a part of the team. We got one more guaranteed five-star before I get to pick Bronia, but that's huge like that's a free ass weapon dude that could have been a clara weapon that would have been a, a, an absolute dud but the fact that i got welt last night and then they were just like here you go sir <laughs> your character is now complete that's huge oh my god yo who is this is that auto it kind of looks like auto a little bit pause champ 
I have no idea who that is or whose weapon that is even. This is a new weapon. Abundance, really? Increase the wearer's effect resistance by 16% and increase outgoing healing by the amount equal to 33% of effect resistance. Outgoing healing can be increased this way up to 15%. Huh. That's interesting though, because Bailu and Natasha are the only two healers in the game right now. This might be for a future character maybe? Because it doesn't seem to apply to either one and neither of them are in the shot. So yo, future healer. Healer Pog, I'm here for it. I have one more five star. Could be Bronya, could be Bailu. I'll take either one, please. <laughs> we got Ting Yun. Let's go. I heard this character is goaded. I heard this character is fucking crazy good. Oh, nice. She's like a fox lady, right? Yeah, look. Yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> Sheesh. I swear to God, if that fox tail opens up to like nine tails, I'm going to lose my shit. She's electric harmony. So I think harmony is buffer. Yeah. So she buffs, I think, uh, speed or attack or something like that. I have to keep her on my mind as of right now. All right. Let's see. What do we got? I'm actually really happy we're getting a bunch of like follow up. Okay, I already have this weapon, so this could be superimposed. A lot of defense, Jesus. I'm really gonna try and make sure I check out what these do before I feed anything. Okay, this has to be max imposed hook weapon at this point. Hook is getting all the love. I almost kind of want to pull on the limited banner again just to get E6 for hook at this point. Hook is probably my most like valued character. The rates in this game, I think, are lower than Genshin's, which is wild. I mean, given the fact that well looks like i don't have to pull on the limited banner <laughs> my first e6 is hook it's official it has happened it is here jesus christ who would have thought oh the last pull i got was 250 67 89 so we're 40 pulls in i'm gonna do 50 more pulls to guarantee me a five star and then we're going to choose the next five star these pulls were really fun though i just wish that i didn't get two gepards at the very start of the game like that as i continue to get gepard's fucking four star light cone i'm a gepard main i guess oh we got this weapon too yesterday dude i have to be a shield main i have to be the aegis shield for my team you are going to be a gepard and hook main whether you like it or not you are not getting your favorite healer not in this game buddy why what did i ever do to you also i just want to say big shout out to hoyoverse and honkai star rail for supporting the streams okay we got another pella so i think this is e3 all right so Pella was the pick. We have the guaranteed pick here, but I'm going to go. I think I need 20 more pulls for my last guaranteed five star. On this, is, this is it. We get it early. Another 20 pulls early. Oh, God. I'm so nervous. <laughs> pawn, pawn, pray for me, please. Hook never misses. I'm a good part, man. This is insane, dude. How is this happening to me? <laughs> Whoever in chat said Gepard curse, you did this to me. God damn it. Oh my God, man. E2 Gepard. A moment of silence for your boy. This guy's the new Chi Chi of the game. He has to be because he's cryo and he's a defender, which means I'll never die, which is like Chi Chi who is undead and can never die. It's like, I should have seen it coming. Gepard is the Chi Chi of this game. Well, with all of that said, we are guaranteed our free five star off of this banner. Bailu. I have no idea when or if I will ever see you in the game. Bronya, welcome. Finally! Finally, she's here. Welcome home, Bronya, my queen. I think my pulling days are over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, really quick. I actually might have enough of those points. <gasps> I think I'm gonna go for Bronia's best in slot weapon. I think I'm gonna go for this light cone for her. Increase the wearer's energy rate by 10% and generates one skill point when the user uses their ultimate on an ally. This effect can be triggered after every two uses of the wearer's ultimate. When the wearer uses their skill, the next ally taking action deals 30% more damage. What the hell? This is cracked. 
Good shit. Let's fucking go. We're gaming. Okay, so Don Hung, I Dolan, E1. The higher you fly, the harder you fall. When the target enemy's current HP percentage is greater than or equal to 50%, crit rate is increased by 12%. Not bad. I cannot believe this, dude. My first I Dolan 6 character. Always ready to punch and kick. Hook deals 20% more damage to enemies afflicted with burn. Here it is. The full. Look at this. Look at this sweet little child. The gift that keeps on giving. E2 Gepard. Hold up. After an enemy frozen by skill is unfrozen, their speed is reduced by 20% for one turn. And due diligence basically guarantees me automatic freezing on my target. It bumps it up to 100% unless they have resistances. He automatically will slow targets after they're unfrozen. But goddamn, sir, you really cucked me. I'm just saying. Natasha, E3, a scaling buff. Not bad. She's my healer at this point, so the more the merrier. All right, we have E3 for Pella. Adamant charge using skill to remove buffs increases speed by 10% for two turns. And we also have the scaling Eidolon. Not bad. Ting Yun, really happy to have her. I need to figure out, I need to figure out multiple teams at right now because after I go through all of this, I am going to be leveling up my first core team moving forward. Serval, we have the scaling Eidolon. I will take that. Sushang, who also has the scaling Eidolon. Wow, E3 is really where like, okay, halt. You're getting a little too crazy here with the abilities. Gepard, you screwed me, sir. I love you. You are literally the Aegis shield, but again, this might be a hot take but i think in certain situations march 7th is far more valuable than gepard i might be coping right now because like i'm basing it off of the early game approaches of the characters but she provides shields with her skill and she gets a counter attack but gepard has a lot of mobility like stunning mobility abilities or immobilization like he slows he freezes and he shields it's a i just have to apply it on a case-by-case -case basis so with that said i am going to officially set up my core team i think we're gonna go with welt it's basically gonna be a five-star team we're gonna go welt zila bronia and i want to say gepard gepard will cover the damage mitigation bronia will literally enhance zila as my main dps i feel like every enemy in the game is weak to imaginary for like weakness breaks so i just want welt in there too for like the slows i think this is the core team i'm gonna run with holy moly what a stacked fucking team oh look at her what a woman what an absolute queen we're getting a first look at the freaking saritza right here she better be the saritza or we're gonna have problems Helioverse. let me level up and semi build these characters real quick i am giving welt his signature weapon without a doubt zila already has her signature weapon i literally just got bronia's signature weapon so we're gonna give that and gepard at this point what i think i'm gonna do i might superimpose this weapon now that i think about it oh i only have one that's fine there we go. The wearer is likely to be attacked, but damage taken is reduced by 18. So Gepard at this point is also going to be my like damage sponge. He's going to be taking all the hits for me. I think I'm going to bring all these characters to 20 right now or whatever like the max level I can take them to is level 20 Welt. Oh, and they give you experience back. Nice. Level 20 Zila. Not bad. Level 20 Bronia. Nice, nice, nice. And last, but certainly not least, picking up the rear level 20. 20 Gepard. So I'm taking my characters and their weapons to 20 as of right now. And then I think that'll be it for the foreseeable leveling up portion for my characters. All righty. So this is my fully kitted out team. As of right now, we have Welt, Zila, Bronia, and Gepardo. First thing I want to do, actually, we need to go to the raiding pistol room because I definitely need to follow up and peep out how all of these characters rank up now that I have a bunch of them. So my main character's rating was 84 and then Don Hung was 88 and March 7th doesn't have a rating. So I can only imagine what this fucking pistol is going to say about people like Welt and like these goaded ass five stars. Let's check this out. Rating pistol for Welt of all characters. Rating five. Hold up.
Hold on. Wait, is it the lower the number, the better? This is fucking Welt. The rating pistol gazed at Welt. Five points it announced. Is it basing it on weight? Don't think so. <laughs> Wait, what? I might not know a whole lot about this guy, but apparently this guy is pretty important to Honkai Impact 3rd. I'm willing to expect that the lower the number, the better the character. Either that or this guy just got insulted by this pistol. I'm just saying. All right, let's try Zila. The rating pistol gazed at Zila. 33 points it announced. Why is that the score? You don't understand. Okay, Zila, 33. Okay. The queen herself, Bronya. What could this possibly give? Number one, 37 for Bronya. Bronya. Okay. She's a couple points higher than Zila. She's like right next door to Zila, actually. Yeah, I have no idea what the rating is. Gepardo, Mr. Ice Shield Man over here. Mr. I'm gonna steal all of your 50-50s and you're gonna like it. All right, rating 62 for Gepard. Not bad. For all we know, this could be rating them based on their looks. Like, we have no idea if it's about power, if it's about rarity, if it's about, you know, their looks. No freaking clue. Don Hung has the highest number as of right Right now all right i'm gonna try natasha now big mommy energy the rating for natasha 32 interesting one point off from zila actually i have no idea how to quantify what this rating system is all about i'm stumped i wonder what herda is actually very interested to learn arlen what's your rating my dude arlen's rating is 55 okay is it based on clothing color don't think so yeah i have no idea madam herta good lord what's hers gonna be number one this has to be based on some sort of power system. She's lower numbered than Welt. Herda's number four. Welt is number five. She's like, unamusing. I already knew this. <laughs> Ching Chu's next. 65. Okay. You don't quite understand the logic. Yeah, I, I continue to not understand. All right, Serval, what about you? See, she's 67. A couple points above uh, Ching Chu. Interesting. Next group of characters. We have Su Shang also. Oh, shit. Yo, she's got a freaking giant, like, geo-looking sword. That's sick. Alrighty. How does she fare? Wait! She doesn't have one. What on earth is this gun basing its scores on? What the hell? Did they forget to add one to her? It literally skips over it. That might be an error. I'd like to think that this game is airtight and that's deliberate, but it literally skips over the ranking. Whereas like March 7th doesn't have one and it says she doesn't have one. So that's a little odd. All right, let's see what Pella is. 97, 93, my bad. Holy shit, she's the highest rank. Yo. All right, next up we got Asta. 29 for Asta. Stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's any type of rationale for this. They might explain it down the road, but as of right now, it's impossible to rationalizing what it could be. All right, we have Sampo next. Rating invalid. Ah! Rating invalid. Its eye swivels around three times before suddenly widening. After a brief impasse, its eyes shut. Um, is there something you'd like to share with the class, sir? Are you human? What's going on with you, sir? Why don't you have a rating? I think that's exactly what it said about March 7th. That's a little scary. Yeah, Su Shang, Sampo, and March 7th are all kind of like, hmm? like Sasuke. Picking up the rear, we have Ting Yun and Hook. All right, Ting Yun, what's your number? No one's hit the big hundred or the number one yet. Oh, Ting Yun is 13. Okay. And last but not least, my Idolin 6 Giga Chad character. Wait a minute. What? She's behind Welt? Is this based on cuteness factor? What's going on? Bro, I have no idea. Oh my God. This is so perplexing. It literally just might have like a random number just to throw you off and make you like overthink about the situation because that's literally what I'm doing right now. I feel like I'm putting all of this time and thought into like, what could it possibly mean? In reality, I'm getting freaking trolled. I also think that the criteria might be different based on each character, which then means it's kind of impossible to figure out what it's actually trying to convey i do want to go to the other curio room because uh i actually have my reaction in the last video if you guys haven't seen it but in my last video we discovered this curio room and this is kind of a big deal for a couple reasons that we discovered yesterday but i'm gonna be going through these curios i didn't read any of them yesterday a shattered curio with particles floating around the cracks refracting unstable light it reminds you of some kind of ancient cathode ray tube device and a mysterious rule that everyone somehow knows if it's not working try hitting it 
You subconsciously reach out to tap the curio, not knowing whether it is an illusion. You feel that the light emanated by a strange object is more dazzling than before. Oh God. You decide to tap it a few times. What could possibly go wrong? Oh dear. Nothing seems to happen. You decide to, you know what? I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's tap it again. Doesn't seem like anything is different. Doesn't seem like anything happened. So you decide to tap it again. Uh-oh. <laughs> the previously dim curio suddenly shines brightly and you throw your hands up to shield your eyes. Several seconds later, you open your eyes, but the cracks have disappeared. After checking that you're not hallucinating, you decide to tell Asta about it. Uh-oh. I think I'm in trouble, chat. <laughs> Oh no, I fucked around and found out. I really hope I didn't break something. The back end detected a weird quantum fluctuation just now. You were right beside it at the time. What happened? I fixed the curio, clearly. I just whacked the curio a few times and the cracks on it disappeared. I can't believe it myself. I can't believe it either. The back end data from Panopticon system does show it has been fixed and is activated at the moment. It's been giving out a steady energy reading. It may be pure luck, but this is too much of a coincidence could it be that your hands are blessed by an aeon oh damn dude i got the midas touch now all right i'm kidding no matter how you are the one who did it i'll send you the reward remember to check it out oh shit praise of high morals oh what is this in this grand universe moral standards are materialized into physical form thumbs up approvals aren't a rare sight to behold what matters is that you are recognized interesting hey we got a thumbs up we did good chat even though i thought i broke something and madam herda was literally gonna destroy me so this is a big deal we came here yesterday and the first thing i said when i saw this was like oh this looks like the god slayer sword from chapter nine of Honkai Impact Third. And then I literally look over, and this is literally a wind glider from Genshin Impact. What the hell? This is crazy. <laughs> Let's look at this stuff. This is so cool. A few crimson fragments float in the air, drawn by an invisible force. They trace the shape of a broken blade. The rusted surface looks like a barren field scorched by flames as it narrates its past. Yep, literally chapter nine. A gust of heat suddenly arrives through the air. It touches your cheek and pauses next to your ear. Oh my God, that is so crazy. How, I could only assume that the void in chapter nine where the sword was broken and the final lesson was learned she got it out of that void dimension or whatever or the void connects the honkai impact third world to this one's abyss and i don't know it's fucking crazy dude and then this is even crazier this is the freaking the wings of first flight from genshin a pair of black feathered wings hovering in the air at about the height of a grown human maintaining the appearance of flight you imagine a figure of an adventurer flapping those wings wings and raising with the wind you feel the wind a warm and welcoming wind blowing into your face playing with the ends of your hair and filling your body the wind sends you to fly beyond mountain ranges and vast oceans behind you windmills turn and pastoral hymns chime before you shooting stars stream down and snow glitters this is literally venti you open your eyes and wake from your imagination the black feathering wings fly still as if if recounting a story as if singing a whole world at Astra Abyssos. That's literally Venti, oh, the wind, oh, Monstat. God, that's too good. What is this Astro Rod? Curio number 21, Astro Rod. This is a prototype. I repeat, prototype. Astro Rods have become so common after being mass produced. It doesn't seem to be like a material. It's a prototype, like she said, or like it said. Interesting. It looks kind of like a cross between like an arrow and a shovel. Energy black hole. Curio number 2691, energy black hole. It can absorb absorb energy but not food okay there's a suspiciously oily sheen over the metal casing it seems like the part about food in the curio introduction was recently added damn this like i devour everything but actual sustenance what is this you recall a record in the space station about how the curio unbearable weight can instantly make someone 
fluent in a language? Oh, that's like a crown, like a helm. After careful scrutiny, you conclude this crown before you is none other than the wondrous, unbreakable weight. Valuable learning opportunities cannot be squandered. Learn the language the strange voice is speaking. Oh, that's right. I was in a room earlier today. I was just like exploring rooms that I hadn't already found. And there was like this voice that was talking in weird tongues. I couldn't understand it. And I think that's what this is implying. It's like, oh, do you want to understand what it was saying? It was in like a room upstairs. So learn the language the strange voice is speaking in. A completely new language floods your synapses. You feel dizzy and a huge boulder seems to be weighing down on your head. Oh, congratulations. You just learned a whole new language. <laughs> You can finally understand the reasonings behind the Curio's name. Whoever named it was also experiencing the same crushing weight on their head. Bro, imagine I just became 10 head. Oh my God. That's gotta be some massive lore that's going on. Curio number 458, unbearable weight. It is the crown of the Tottenid royal family used to pass on knowledge. You try on the crown and you feel as though your head has grown several times bigger. Yeah, that's my brain getting bigger and bigger by the second. The crown is far too heavy. Looks like knowledge is pretty dense. Damn, dude, that is huge. And then apparently these cards cards are from the tears of Themis or Themis, Hoyo versus other like Bando game or something. 40 cards are stacked in a precise arrangement to form a spire, pulling away even a single card and it will collapse into a ruinous heap. Perhaps this is how causality works. We have thousands of choices, but there is only one outcome. And yet you believe that happenstances are etched in inevitability. One day you'll find the answer beyond your guaranteed destiny. AKA amongst the sea of husbandos, you will find your one true love <laughs> at least that's my interpretation if it's from that husbando game i don't know has anybody done the <laughs> my guy's trying to sing a tune right now let's leave the singing to the traveler all right gepard you've cucked me too much with these freaking five star pulls overall this curio room was great the rating system for all the characters was awesome we did all of our pulls i do have to track down a very powerful monster there's two monster encounters that i have to track down one is in this room and one's in another room but they both have precious chests that i want to track down one of them is on the second floor over here all right, here we go. Let's get it. Oh, wow. It's a full stack of five. Yo, big music. Okay. Leave the Holy rest damage. Okay, this is my first time seeing Welt ult. I've never seen Welt ult before. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. <gasps> Synthetic black hole. My guy. Witness the stars <laughs> shatter before you. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. How is this man rank five? This shit better mean that he's goaded. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got Bronya too. This is my first time using Bronya. Okay, let me check out her skills real quick. Single attack deals minor wind damage. Her skill removes one debuff from an ally, increases their damage, and allows them to immediately take action. Oh shit, so I can use this on Zila and bump her up from all the way at the bottom of the list to the top. Holy shit, that is so goaded. The time is now. Bronya! Strength. <laughs> and she gets a damage boost. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I need to give everyone big shields right now. Let's go. The Aegis Ice Shield man himself. Uh, who do I want to kill? Hey, I'll go for this guy. This is a little overkill, but I don't mind. And she gets plus one. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I needed to level up all my characters. I'd be hurting if they weren't all level 20. All right, well, let's hit this man with the quickness. I won't go easy on you. Oh, he slowed him. Oh my God, Gepard is actually goaded. He unfroze, but then no, because he was this. unfrozen because of his E2, it pushed him lower on the ranking on the list. So I just got my whole team's turn again. Good shit. I'm gonna try to freeze this guy. But yeah, he's got resistance. I knew it. Oh, plus one. Misery. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And then ult. Let's go. Dude, she got to attack three times. Oh my god. Let me end. Oh my god. Zila, stop. You're too good. Sheesh. Dude, she got to attack four times. We just have to worry about this guy and then we're good. Freeze. I'm going to hit him with the shield. I love his ultimate. That shit's so cool. All right, Bronia, take him down. Hell yeah. This is such a cool ult. Survive or be destroyed. 
There is no other choice. Oh my what god. Heck? What a goat. I'm so close to Bronia's ult. Oh, there it is. Well, I guess, I mean, Zila's already going right now. I think this is gonna kill right here. Bop! Hell yeah. Dude, that was a fight right there. Holy moly. Formidable foe defeated. A little goes a long Ooh, way. Ooh, we got a light cone. So that was enemy number one. The second enemy, I believe they're downstairs. They're over here. Yep, and it's a double whammy. Let's go welt. Let's immobilize and attack. There we go. See, the thing is for Zila, there's not a lot of quantum options for her to get breaks. So it's just a little unfortunate for these matchups on the space station. Oh, this is the first time I'm... Wait, she gives it to everybody? Wait a minute. I thought it was just one. Oh man, this is my first time seeing Dragon it. Dragon defend. Crush them. Oh. <laughs> attack and crit damage. Oh my god. I didn't know she gives attack and crit damage. Lend me your strength. And damage boost. Wealth, you're a freaking animal. Oh, Sheesh. Look at that. God damn. She buffs the whole team. Ooh, the lock on is real. There might be a second part of this fight. I'm going to save my ult. I need physical and or electro or electric. And I don't have either for this team. Calm your body and mind. Welt's doing big damage. I like that. All right, we're going to use Welt ult. Dude, so clean. All right, and this is it. This is the first part, though. I think there's a part. Yep, second part coming in now. Good shit, Welt. Bronia. I'll do Welt again. Thank God I leveled up these characters. This is actually a pretty intense fight. Man's frozen and imprisoned. Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm going ham with these ults. Hold up. I'm going to do one of these. I actually want to see this normally. Yo! <laughs> to guard and defend. Crush them! Oh, that is so clean. I love that. Freeze this man. And then Welt will ult. This could kill? Let's go! Two really difficult battles taken care of. Bountiful treasure. This man literally forms a singularity with his cane. What a badass. <laughs> A cup of coffee sits silently on the table like an elegant aristocrat. Despite being cold, it holds its head aloft and exudes a rich aroma. This aroma seems to have its own magic as you gaze into the deep brown liquid. You feel your thoughts slipping into the abyss. Excuse me? Take a sip. Why am I drinking someone else's coffee? You feel some lingering warmth the moment your lips touch the rim of the cup. Perhaps it hasn't been long since this coffee was brewed and it still retains a kind of newborn beauty. It's a shame you only took a small sip and couldn't taste more of the aroma. Maybe you should drink more. Oh my God. Bro, I'm drinking someone's like backwashed coffee right now. <laughs> the bitter flavor of the coffee begins to take over your mouth aggressively and brutally assaulting your taste buds okay this is getting a little too weird chat the coffee is like yeah you consented the second you decided to drink me there's still quite a bit of coffee in the cup you decide to take another sip the bitterness seems to have dissipated and your taste buds took off the veil that concealed the flavor's true self bro we're literally getting coffee lore in this game what is this persona will the real aroma of this coffee turn out to be pretty gentle and sweet one can only wait and see take another sip the fruity scent gradually Gradually spreads. You seem to be among birdsong in the valley, and the trickling stream before you is the best balm to soothe your suffering soul. A light breeze lifts you up, and soft feathers surround your body as the stars before you begin to sway from side to side. But am I having a stroke right now? What is going on? I'm seeing stars. What the hell? How'd I end up here? Um, hello? What was in that coffee, dude? <laughs> Yo, that coffee hit different. Note to self, don't drink anybody else's coffee on the space station but your own. Are you awake? How are you feeling? Dizzy? What were you doing alone in such a dangerous place? Nani? The bitterness in your mouth and imminent stomach pains leave you feeling extremely weary. You shake your head, not wanting to answer extraneous questions like that. All right, take care of yourself and go see a doctor if you feel sick. Stay out of dangerous places. You might not be so lucky to have us save you next time. You hold your tongue, seeing the worried look on their faces. This must be because of the coffee. You reminisce on the bitterness and sweetness that was on your tongue. It was the right thing to do to stop after a few sips. However, you just had another chance. Would you still try that cop? Okay. 
If you had another chance, would you try that cup of coffee again? Only one way to find out because apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. Round two, boys. Let's go and get another cup of coffee. Damn. I mean, it's still right there, but the plot line has passed. Oh, another robot. Is this the last one? I feel like I found a bunch of them so far. Maybe not. Investigate. Easy clap, boys. GG. Come on. I'm a gamer. That shit ain't stopping me. All right. Hold up a second. I want to see if I can go back to that other room that had like the weird voice that was talking to me. Yeah, right here. Okay. Oh, yes. I think I can decipher it now. Oh. And you shall be crowned the Emperor of Totten. Holy shit. That's what he was saying. He was like speaking in tongues before. But now we actually learned the language. That is so cool. Despite never having met the Tottenids, you trust that they must be in possession of the greatest taste in all the universe. Yo, that is so cool. When you first come in here, there's like a little shimmering thing on the floor. And it's like, it's literally gibberish. We are back on track. We just did all of the basic mystery miscellaneous stuff that I want to plan to do for the space station. Bronia keeps that motherfucking thing on her. Look at her. She's got amazing fucking form. What a woman. But uh, we are actually going to be tackling for this video, I think in general for the core content, a world quest focused on Arlen and company. He's actually right over here. And before I do that, I actually think I'm going to switch my team for any combat that's a part of this. So I think I'm going to run this team here, which is going to be Arlen, Herda, Natasha, and Asta, with Arlen being the main DPS who uses health instead of skill points. And Natasha is most likely going to heal and and Asta will provide like DPS, like stat boost and stuff like that. So I'm going to level up this gang real quick. And then we're going to get into that quest. Light cone business. I'm going to push the light cones to max if I can, just because it's only beneficial to do that, especially for like the five star ones and any of the other ones that I can right now. Ooh, okay. Max HP increase. So I have to make sure I get all their traces. Increase attack. Yeah, definitely want to bring all of their traces up, even if it's by a little bit. Ice damage. All right. And with all of that out of the way, we have our new team, Arlen, Asta, Natasha, and Herda. We got all... Oh, that's... Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's got a giant... <laughs> Herda's got a giant ass hammer. She's gonna bonk the hell out of you. And then Asta literally has like a giant like orbital satellite attack. That's sick. And then Natasha. Typical Natasha with the grenade launcher. Oh, uh, this is so cool. <gasps> Peppy the Doge. This is Asta's pet dog. It's often set to auto walk mode, which no longer freaks the researchers out. Woof, 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 woof. A cute and lively puppy. You can tell by its wagging tail that it likes you. The puppy looks up at you with certain anticipation in its eyes. Ah, uh, let me tease you. <laughs> Peppy looks in good spirit. This is a great opportunity to build a closer relationship. Genshin Impact could never, bro. Genshin Impact wishes it was Honkai Star Rail right now, dude. Are you kidding me? Touch its paw, scratch its belly, pat its head. All right, I gotta give it the little belly scratches. It seems like it doesn't want to expose its belly in public. Never thought I'd find a dog that puts up a facade. Okay, so the, the belly rubs might not be the best. Let's give it some head pats. Oh, it looks like it likes that. Rubbing its fluffy paint on your palms, you can feel the sensation of its tail wagging quickly now. Okay, so it likes the head pats. Touch its paw. You placed its soft little paw in the palms of your hand. Its warm paw pads are really squishy. This is... This is too good! I love it so much! It seems tired. Let's just stop here for today. Let's go! I don't know why, but this makes the trailblazer look super tall. Oh, you can add filters? Oh my god. I really like this. What's going on, Arlen? Arlen, head of security, reporting to... Oh, it's you, Murder of Birds. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. I was just thinking about ways to improve the security department's emergency response training. After all, this is an important part of the Project Revival. If the Legion dares to attack us again, I don't want to make things easier for them. Project Revival? Well, Project Revival is a set of post-disaster operational protocols that Lady Asta and the head of the 5 
department collaboratively developed using data gathered about the damage sustained by the space station. It also involves many other confidential initiatives, such as the Curio Collection Squad, Security Zoning, and the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation's Damage Assessment. Curio Collection what? Curio Collection Squad, Securing Zones in the Damage Assess- Okay, he just repeated what he said. But the implementation of Project Revival is not easy, and Lady Asta believes that the number of personnel needed exceeded our previous estimates. Sorry if it seems to come out of nowhere, but Murder of Birds, would you like to help? You protected me in the past when we battled those Legion monsters. You are truly a trustworthy comrade. Please just order me around as you please. This is not an order at all. If you are willing to help, we'd really appreciate it. The department staff are busy with Project Revival. Can you go to every zone on the space station and see if it's needing assistance? Here is your commission fee, a total of 648. I'm not sure how much I should offer you since my living expenses are already covered by the space station, but I have no idea how much money is worth. You can't put a price on friendship. Okay, dude. I barely know Ireland. Let's be real. 648 is a huge sum of money. Hopefully with your help in Project Revival, Lady Asta will finally get a good night's sleep. You know what? We got to do it for Asta. 648 credits, ladies and gentlemen. That's literally all I'm worth. Oh, damn. Look at all these freaking texts going through. Wow. Can someone help me? It's urgent. I need a reply ASAP. Oh, it's Abraham. What happened? The security department is about to be in position. Darn. Did you hit the send all button? Abraham. He's terrified by every little thing out there. The squad had helped him many times before. He's probably making a big deal out of nothing again. Alas, everyone. Just ignore him. <laughs> in the reception hall where I was working on Project Revival, I ran across this insurmountable obstacle. I'm sure Alfred would have come to rescue me if he were still around okay abraham don't all go over here guilt tripping well crying doesn't solve anything i don't know if that was too harsh but that's right abraham pull yourself together moping like this won't protect people or avenge your friends so sorry if my research has inconvenienced you in any way i've already taken it on myself to block the rest of your admirers who will be queuing to add you to their friends list as for all those requests already received it's up to you to decide what to do with them damn i'm freaking popular over here all right, road to revival. Head to the base zone and help the researchers in need. Oh, it's going to unlock this last area that I need. Nice. Cool. Okay, let's get it. All right, here we go. Abraham, my dude. Please rest assured that this zone has been completely under the control of the Curio Collection Squad. I remember you. You're that guy who was morbidly scared of death. Remember me. I also remember you. I'm not afraid of death anymore. The friends who once stood by my side day and night have already taken the lead in entering the eternal night, and yet I'm still here not knowing where my life will end jesus life is but a path to death but not today i don't want to die at the hands of those monsters until i avenge alfred miss henkel transferred me to the obstacle detection terminal so i can follow the lead of wen mingdi head of the curio collection squad to toughen myself up on the front lines that's the receptionist over there but as soon as i came here i encountered a problem about reactivating the space anchor over there the solution is just a few steps away it may look like a few steps but i can't do it even if i mustered up all my courage well actually the activation itself isn't the difficult part you just need to get close to the space anchor and the biological polarity of your body will be enough to activate it the real challenge are all the monsters along the way back when i was working on the obstacle detection terminal there was nothing but distant shadows that i could just brush aside but then the invasion happened and when i learned that they had got alfred my heart began to fill up with hatred but when i became a member of the curio collection squad and met them face to face all all I felt was fear. At that moment, Alfred's fading eyes flashed in my head. I felt short of breath with cold sweat all over my body and legs trembling. What a loser, right? I just can't find the courage to go through with it and activate the space anchor. And it has been like this for several days. So murder of birds, can you do it? You know what? Let's do it together. We can look out for each other. Okay, you know what? Never mind. This guy does not want to be a part of it. I was trying to be a team player, but it looks like I got to do all the work. Step aside. I got this, boys. Hopefully, I'll be able to test out this new team of characters please be weak to electric let's go we're in the way <laughs> yo that instant action let's get it time to twirl <gasps> Uh, Herta? What the? <laughs> I literally did this man's like follow up attack and then Herta literally followed up to insta kill all of them. I'm only level 10 with these characters. What the hell? Sheesh. Triple authorization failed. The latch has been forbidden. I guess we're going to need to go here first and then backtrack. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's a big boy. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, activate this robot real quick for shutdown. Hey, I think that's all the robots. 
Uh, sister murder of birds, can I ask you something? Lots of little robots have recently disconnected from a terminal. My check says that they have all been manually turned off. The security department tells me you went past this area. Did you see anyone suspicious? I confess, I did it. Damn, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. They were on standby, so I just tapped them. All right, don't do it again. I'll ignore it this time. <laughs> We made an oopsie, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? Those stellar jade, though. It was all worth. Turn off the little robots in the space station six times. Freeze quantum and physical, which means my eruditions are not going to be helping me here. Let's switch to Herta. She has ice. Also, this guy's level 13. I got to be careful. Oh, dear. Mistakes may have been made, chat. Although, this is AoE. Who's the lucky one today? Oh, Okay, Arlen, let's see what you can do, bud. Not bad for damage. Dude, this follow-up attack is insane. It's gonna hurt. Oh, shit. All right, not bad, not bad. Good thing Natasha has AoE heals. Attack up. All right. Be silent. Okay, I see you, my dude. I'm gonna use her ult, and then I'm gonna use Natasha's ult to heal. Do you know who I am? Damn, you're about to find out. Ever see a diamond this big? Oh! Yours. <laughs> Holy shit, that is so time. sick. I think we got this, though. I think we can take him out. I don't remember inviting you. Damn. Okay. You know what? I'll hit him with the ult. Is that all you got? Frenzied punishment, dude. Arlen was so sick. Let me pay you back. Temple. <laughs> oh shit! I don't care what anyone says. He's giving me huge razor vibes right now. I think Natasha can break. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna heal and I'll do the break next turn. Oh, and he does heals over time. Okay, I see you. This is probably not gonna do much. I just is ordained by the stars. I just want to see what it does, and it's gonna advance everyone's turn. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Hello, Mona. Nice to see you again. She's literally Mona even in this game. You love to see it, though. Yeah, I think Herd is going to go for break. All right, nice. Frozen. Good shit. Yeah, this team isn't ideal for this fight just because of the typing. Herta's the only one that can really do much. I really like Herta, man. Oh, my God. They're still alive. Die already. Thank you. Yeah, that was a kind of a tough battle. Oh, we got a special access card. Oh, it's probably for the hallway. When the light hits a certain angle, the words redacted. Oh, dear. Another authorization card. That's weird. All right, we got a light cone. Cool. Proper role-playing gamer. <laughs> I do say so myself. I am a proper RPG gamer. Make sure that you have triple authorization verification cards. If you need help, please retrieve authentication. Hold up. Tier three certification? Am I about to hack into the mainframe over here? After much thought, you become convinced that the torso of the images is the remnant of the antimatter legion. The camera seems to attach to this monster's body. Oh, are we getting like camera surveillance data? I see. Okay. The final image images of a researcher with an afro haircut kneeling down and reaching towards something oh boy so it seems like we still can't access this room yet we'll have to come back later all right sir we did your job for you L left the hunt the hunt on the left the harmony on the right and the erudition in the heart wait what the dragon on your chest on the chest is the preservation this is the chant of aeon protection that i came up with myself please don't alter the wording lest we offend the aeons but i only recite this chant 167 times and you already activated the space okay so he's like if i keep doing this chant eventually they'll complete the task actually when i was reciting the chant i figured it all out since you're helping me complete my task already i can now continue to stay on the team and i will eventually hunt down the monster that killed alfred and avenge him i will prove to you that i have the courage to take the step before the long night of death i hope this is not our last encounter farewell okay road to revival complete oh i think there's a oh okay so there's like an extension go to the storage zone and learn about the revival to clear okay we are going to multiple locations it seems oh <gasps> oh my god Perfect. That was pretty cool. She's like a little uh, twirly ballerina. You have to like turn the knob for it to like wind up. Investigate. 
Oh, oh shit. I didn't know I was supposed to interact with this. Hold up. The cabinet is absolutely bare with the light cone once stored there, not long gone. You remember Arlen asking you to take it during crisis. Now that everything is over, it's time to return it to its original owner. Damn, I'm giving back the light cone. What is borrowed must eventually be returned, even if it's just an average light cone. <laughs> Silent bid farewell with eyes closed. Your path ahead will be full of companions. What's one measly light cone worth to you? You're lucky I'm not a free to play player. I'd be crying my eyes out right now oh my oh my young lady did you just put that light cone back into the shelter your eyesight really does get terrible with old age tell this old one please what kind of light cone did you put in was it the jewel studded arrow heart light cone or was it the domineering king's aura light cone uh neither not bad not bad this one knew you had it in you honesty and candor are your best virtues and naturally a reward is in order but that jewel studded arrow heart light cone is too mundane an object for such a high quality individual as yourself and this domineering king aura light cone is tacky and pretentious and naturally unworthy of someone of your great talent despite my old age i can tell that you look reluctant so why not i just return the light cone to you that's what you want isn't it damn he's like you know what just for being honest you can have it let's go honest abe hey it pays to be honest ladies and gentlemen pass the test of integrity set up by a mysterious researcher dude that wasn't even a test that's just how I carry myself. I'm too much of a gamer. Hmm. <gasps> Not. Whoa. But the real me is better. <laughs> <laughs> Herda's freaking nuts. She just pulled out a portrait of herself from like the void. Dude, these idol animations are so good when you catch them. All right, so this is the research gang I have to talk to. What is this? Battle of instincts is a source of pride. Physical exertion brings shame. It's complete nonsense. So physical labor doesn't count as work now. Today, I'm gonna show them what real work is all about. Yeah, you show them. <laughs> here, here. All present staff, attention please. Herda Space Station is undergoing a difficult period of revival. In the battle with the Legion, some of our colleagues were slaughtered by monsters and their cold bodies were thrown into a silent space. The cyber attacks have erased years of research efforts. The damaged curios are suddenly disintegrating in a weightless environment. Everything within sight has been turned into a wasteland and monsters are still roaming around our cabins. No matter how many dazzling achievements you have made on your own, we can no longer afford to live like hermits. We need to mobilize every member of the staff, put down our inherent prejudices and work together to recover the lost curios and repair the damaged cabins. I'm all ears. If you don't mind, I don't want to hear any complaints about physical labor, nor do I want to see anyone putting off work. If you're interested in curio recovery, please report to the curio collection squad under Mr. Wen Mingdi in the base zone as soon as possible. Those who are interested in repair work, come with me now to learn the process. I can learn with the repairs. Good, good. Are you the young lady who helped out in the master control zone? I have a special task for you. 45 meters out of that door, where we are is a major road defect. I've checked and the small ordnance depot on the other side of the defect is swarming with monsters. Okay. I will eradicate the monsters while y'all do your big brain strats. Yeah. See, this team is just not cutting it for what I need it to be. Yeah. I'm going to switch out Asta at the moment. I'll switch for Bronia. We got wind. We have physical. We have electric. So we should be good with this. And she's just going to be buffing anyway. Bronia, shoot him. Here we go. You chose the wrong one, my friend. Time to twirl. I love Herta's follow-up, man. It's so good. I think Herta gets a follow-up attack after every shield break or weakness break. Arlen, get him. Time to twirl. Yeah, see, that's literally what's happening. Okay, we're done. Return to the safety zone. All right, cool. Oh, it's when the enemy reaches 50 or half. Oh, I see. That's why. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, gang, everything is wrapped up. Good team effort. Nice afro, my dude. Such an incredible skill. It's just sonar positioning. Nothing to brag about. In the Herda Department of Ecology, we deal with all sorts of galactic creatures every day. Developing this kind of ability is just part of the training. The staff of the Herda Space Station possess many different abilities. After meeting a few of us, you won't be surprised anymore. In short, thank you for your contribution to Herda Space Station. This is the reward I managed to secure for you from lead researcher Asta. Please take it. Thank you. You seem to care a lot about this place. Back when I was an unknown researcher, I was told by the first group of people who worked on the construction of the Herda Space Station, this universe is never friendly. Rather, it is vast and dark. In this vast universe, there are countless pairs of eyes staring at the space station with various intentions. Some covet its curios, while others envy its neutrality and freedom. 
freedom. Others despise it and see it as a chess piece that can be destroyed and trampled on at will. Perhaps we researchers are the only ones who understand the joy, sadness, epiphany, and companionship that it has brought us, which is why it is up to us to give everything we have to protect it. Truer words were never spoken, ma'am. That was some real talk right there. My God. Go to the Herda Space Station Master Control and talk to Wen Shichi. Okay. Oh, we found the Afro man. We meet again. Are you here for a vacation this time? Feel free to take a seat next to me and have a break. I heard you need help. The Majestic Legion, the Chaos of Herda, the Curio Cabinet. We can never seem to get a break from it all. Time to bid farewell to research and retire to a quiet, leisurely life. Um, excuse me? Who are you? Didn't you see I was singing? It's not often you get the chance to waste time like this. Enjoy it while you can. If not for all the turmoil going on, I would still be locked up in the cabin doing their so-called research. I've already made it this far and with a full head of hair at that. <laughs> Yeah, full afro, Jesus. No need to get worried about other people living better than you. And the worst that can happen is that we all perish together. Look at it this way. Even if there is a neutrino burst that heralds the destruction, it's still worth it to see such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy to be able to freely waste my own life just to be happy. Do you need help with anything? What do you say? You've already shared some of the joys, so you may as well share some of my chores. Damn, we in the Department of Implemented Arts have received orders to take stock of various losses on the space station that includes evaluating areas like the railway platform all assets damaged by the legion in the area whether mobile or immobile must be photographed and reported my hands are full already okay i gotta go take a uh, damage assessment pictures it seems hey don't mind me i'm here to take damage assessment pictures <laughs> don't mind me i'm not ready to leave just yet yo this is kind of base not gonna cap searching target wait do i gotta get i gotta get closer or something oh there we go there we go oh, okay that's a shitty picture let's try that again uh, or not that's fine too this is actually my first time being over here i'm just gonna look around wait snap a photo of the broken robot oh really okay hold up all right let's do that too i don't want to get too close to it all right there we go hey that was easy that was really quick what the hell all right sir damage reports assessed everything's on the up and up i got all your pictures here you go all right we took an astral express strictly speaking the express isn't part of the space station here you're one of the express folks right i'll do you a favor and add its damages to the books broken robot a streamlined body a silver white metallic luster is that the robot asta ordered i have to admit she has great taste are these enough more or less oh damn what is this the bill why are you giving me the bill what the heck reject silence a tiny orchestra set that automatically play oh so these are the curios that we're logging as damages i think the curios are super cool like they're really interesting aspects of the lord that i want to learn about curio number 3471 reject silence item description a tiny orchestra set that automatically plays some not too bad exotic music when the ambient noise is at zero decibels if the surrounding is louder than zero decibels the set will remain silent level of damage 80 percent damn next curio number 3472 dark matches there's nothing special about these matches designed to be used in dim environments if you stare at them long enough you may even find them pitiable when placed in bright areas transparent or odorless air aerosols in dark green can be spotted floating near their heads, which are safe to be touched by hand. Igniting the matches will drive away light and usher in darkness yo that's kind of cool so like you know like how you light matches and it ignites and creates a light source imagine lighting a match to create the opposite like lighting the match creates darkness i can't even perceive that with my mind like that's just so hard to imagine all right next curio number 3473 interdimensional bed situated at the herda department of implemented arts this bed lies in the middle of scented lime green vines those sleeping on its frame Fragrance will in their dreams cross the boundary between dimensions and travel among the stars. That's kind of cool. Do you come back when you wake up? It's like, hey, you want to go on an interdimensional travel? Just sleep on this bed. But it's like, will I come back though if I wake up? Curio number 3473. Railway platforms. Platforms used to host guests in the space station and park spacecrafts. Okay, that makes sense. So it's basically the railway lines. And then we also have Curio 3475. The Astral Express itself. Spacecraft parked in the space station platform. Should the craft be damaged Damage, heard a space station bears minimum liability damn and last but certainly not least curio number 3476 the shichi megascope 
which is a megascope used to observe the Aquila constellation. Okay. And that is everything. That's a lot of damages. That's a lot of like important stuff. Yeah, this guy's last name is Shichi. So is that his megascope? Yes, even though it is only bumped slightly in the corner, it still counts as damage. Damn. Okay, I'll sort out this ledger later. You should go take a rest. Thank you. I think we are officially done with the mission. Let's go! we're gaming we are gonna take a very short intermission there is so much stuff that i just had to do on the space station before i moved on with my life and i feel like that bled into a lot of time being spent for the stream and the content so far between exploration getting through the rest of my pulls going through some interesting lore getting some easter eggs of genshin impact honkai impact third tears of themis it's just been really cool to just be immersed in the space station with the music and the locales and the characters and everything but i think after this we are going to be officially traveling on the Astral Express and leaving all of this stuff behind for now. Oh my God, Peppy's just chilling over there. Don't worry, we'll be back, I promise. And we have our new cast of characters, which is great too. So I'm gonna leave it off here. We're gonna start up another recording session and we are gonna continue on with more Honkai Star Rail. I'll see you guys in a bit.